Arts and Cultures Museum of Fine Sequential Art. It's a museum based and uh, founded on taking the comics medium as um, what is, I guess, looked at as a, not an art form and trying to present it in a museum setting um, in what I feel is an art form. When I told my mother, it's like, I want to be a comic book artist when I grow up. And she said, well, that's nice. Well, what are you going to do for a real job? Um, as well as uh, in applying for art schools, once I got out of high school, um, applying to art schools, I brought in um, my portfolio of what was my best stuff, which is all my comic book stuff. And uh, the teacher the, that was uh, reviewing the portfolio was looking through it going like, oh, oh, this is dreadful. This is awful. This is, what a waste of time. This is art. We're a fine art school. This is an art. And that always bothered me that I felt, you know, that it is. You know, it's like I, I created it and, and, and it's an art. So in wanting to expand that and get my point of view across to other people, I wanted to have it represented in a real, you know, comic book art represented in a real museum setting where people get as, as excited about it and see it maybe as I do. What we're standing in right now is uh, the entrance to the Words and Pictures Museum, and uh, it's a cave. And what I wanted to do, and what I wanted to say with this, is the combination of telling stories by Words and Pictures, or just visuals themselves, has been around since the dawn of man. The first cartoonists were the cave artists. This is one of my favorite pieces. As a character, as you see here, the person uh, passing away and God speaking to him, you actually see balloons. Um, and this, you know, this is, you know, 13th century. You actually see balloons coming up and, and what they're saying uh, right there. In 1896 was actually the birth of American Comics, which is a character called the Yellow Kid. And uh, the famous Funnies is one of the first comic books. Somebody had the idea to take all the uh, cartoon sections, say over a month or two months span of time, and print them all into one um, book and bind them together and put them on the newsstand. to the uh, children's interactive area, which uh, many of the things you see around us are uh, things that kids can do and play and learn on. We are now on the fourth floor uh, of the Words and Pictures Museum, and this space houses the fingernail of the whole body of the permanent collection of uh, 12,000 pieces. What I chose was uh, either significant pieces by uh, a favorite artist as a creation of a character, or uh, just one of my favorite pieces that shows, best represents uh, that artist's work. would convince a person um, that comics do deserve a place in the history is bring them through here, bring them through the museum. It's exciting when you see kids dragging their parents through here and they're like, oh God, comics museum, you know. And they have no idea what's in here. It's like until they walk through and they start seeing things and they start learning things. And it's always great to hear um, somebody like that, you know, a skeptic or, you know, that said, you know, comics is an art form to say, I had no idea. Mm -hmm.